It's Sunday, and being Sunday, that means it's time for a brand new I Rate Your Teams video. With Team of the Season coming to a close, FIFAcoinzone.com are starting a brand new thing on their site where they're doing top series packs. Make sure you go check them out and use code HABER to get yourself 5% off. Before we get into that video, I just want to say a massive, massive thank you for supporting the channel lately. Uh, literally all the videos are getting an incredible amount of likes, comments, uh, support. We are on over 90,000 subscribers now, which means we are about 9,500 subscribers away from the dream 100,000 subscriber mark. Very grateful for that. And to be honest, we've not had a video get less than 1,000 likes in like the last five videos. So very grateful for that as well. Thank you all for the support now. Let's get into rating your teams. Now, if you want to know how to be entered into the next I Rate Your Teams video or how to be featured, should I say, probably features a better word to use. Uh, it's really, really simple. Just follow these steps to be featured into the next video. Take a couple screenshots of your team. So, for example, how you start your team and what your team looks like in game. It's very important that you take screenshots from your console or Elgato. I cannot accept screenshots from the web app. I cannot accept screenshots from the phone app. I cannot accept phone photographs for these videos. It's as simple as that. I've said it every single video and people still submit companion app screenshots, web app screenshots, phone uh, photos and, and wonder why they're not being featured. Because I need to have screenshots from your console or from your Elgato HD screenshots. Once you've done that, tweet them using the hashtag It's Haber. Do not at me. Use the hashtag It's Haber. It's, it's how I find the tweet, basically. And give me a description of your team. How you start in game, uh, what you play in game. You know, if you bring anyone off the bench, I need to know in the tweets. Uh, how many coins you've got, who's tradable slash untradable. Uh, literally just a description of the team, basically. So I know what you're working with. So I can give you the best advice to your current situation. It's as simple as that. Please follow the instructions. Like I said, there'll be uh, in the description down below, there'll be uh, tutorials on how to screenshot from your console if you're wondering how to do that. Just follow the, the, the instructions, basically. The amount of people that submit me like photos from their phone or screenshots of the companion app and i'm just sat there thinking like have you even watched the video now that's out of the way let's get on with the first team of the video coming from luke Naylor on twitter of course follows me on twitter it says a hashtag is haber hey man my budget is 240,000 coins my tradables are jovic benzema allison i want to improve for t but i don't think anyone else would get full chem if you could help, it would be great. Thanks. Now, this is what he plays in-game. This is in-game team, and this is how he starts the team. Obviously, he's just done the footies Hazard, uh, and he's playing Hazard, uh, De Costa, off chemistry, and everyone else on chemistry. It's an interesting team, to be honest. It's a nice-looking team. Uh, I think you've got some nice plays in there. Now, I think there are a few quality of life up upgrades you can do to this team just to make life a little bit easier for yourself, and, uh, and I'll go into those now. I'm going to be doing this slightly different to usual, so what I'm going to be doing for this, actually, is showing you guys the team that they play as starting first because a lot of people seem to not grasp when i make changes i think about the team they're using um as their starting team as well as their in-game team i don't just say hey upgrade jovic for cristiano ronaldo because obviously it's not going to get in full chemistry in in the team i try and think of the starting team so what we're going to do is we're going to start uh by thinking about the starting team and make changes accordingly so the first thing i would do straight away is swap benzema and alwa as you start because when you go for a kickoff boost goal or something like that you've got a striker a striker as opposed to a center mid it doesn't make a whole lot of sense playing a center mid there when they literally get full chemistry no matter what at their given position so literally just quality of life upgrades your team straight away um by making benzema your striker and Awa your center mid so you're not going forward at the start of the game with benzema uh so you are going forward with benzema you're not going forward with Awa, uh and therefore leaving your your center mid spot open as well uh, that's the first thing i would do second thing i do i'd probably sell your Jovic here uh in terms of how much Jovic goes for now let's have a quick look how much Jovic is currently going for on the market because I know a lot of players have plummeted quite a lot I would personally probably sell Jovic get rid of him I I'm not the biggest fan of Jovic I think he's not a bad player but I would get rid in this team I just don't think that for this team I don't think he's well suited um and what I would do I'd take the 170,000 coins from Jovic given that you've already got 240,000 coins it gives you about 400,000 coins roughly I would personally then go with Tots Werner instead of Tots Jovic now the reason I say that is because I personally prefer Tots Werner over Tots Jovic and not only that Tots Werner is like 140,000 coins right now he is literally 150k this card is 150k. I don't know how, I don't know why, but he's 150k 
my mind is blown. So I would then replace uh, Jovic with Werner there. Uh, I would then possibly look to maybe upgrade Ribery. Like, I like Ribery, but I think that his stamina lets him down, and especially playing him as a left mid. I think his stamina is going to deplete very rapidly. Um, I think what you can do with Ribery here is maybe get a bench player. For example, a Tots Nabry would be a decent bench player to replace Ribery, maybe at half time as your left mid. I would also maybe look to get Poulsen from Foot Swap this month and, and work to change your team around when you get this Poulsen card. Uh, this card looks absolutely incredible this card is six foot four with 96 jumping and 97 aggression and 99 hen accuracy let me make you a promise right now there is no defender in this game including van dyke that will beat this guy in the air more times than he will beat them in the air for example in 10 mid-air battles paulson would probably beat team of the team of the year or team of the season van dyke at least six times I'm not even kidding. With 97 aggression, 96 jumping, and being six foot four, it's the perfect combination for winning uh, aerial battles. And I think that this guy would literally be unreal in the air. So I would personally look towards getting Poulsen as your second striker, as opposed to Benzema, because he's got the pace. I know he hasn't got four-star skills, but he's got the pace. He's got the agility. He's got the amazing finishing. He's got decent composure. He's got great shot power. And like I said, those physical stats, whereas you'll be able to slot him in, get rid of Benzema, and once you've done that, you can work on changing your team to fit Hazard in. Uh, it's going to be something that you probably work towards over the month period. So you'll figure out who you can bring in to, to work out uh, Hazard. For example, a Vitzel would be a decent link because at least then he's getting eight chemistry. I know it's not 10 chemistry, but it's still eight chemistry. That's personally what I do. Now, obviously, he's playing a 4 one 2 one 2 wide in game. So the changes I've made are very minimal. Um, they aren't really going to affect much. He's still going to be playing something like this in game. It's going to look very similar. Um, um, and that's what his team would look like. I'm just very grateful that EA patched that glitch where those uh, where the dynamic images don't disappear. Nice one, EA. You patched a glitch that isn't patched. What an amazing company. This is why people don't trust you at all. And like I said, further on in the month, your team's going to look a little bit more like this maybe with, with Poulsen and Werner up top. And then you can work on getting Witzel instead of Petit because I know you said you wanted to upgrade Petit. I think Tots Witzel will be a great addition. Um, and then you're just working on really... Uh, figuring out how you're going to work in uh, Alwa with uh, Alves and Marquinhos. Maybe you have to change the defensive. It's one of those things like, I know we are in August, but there's still at least a month of the cycle left in my opinion. So you can work towards upgrading these players with foot swap this month. Squad 2 for today comes from Alex Armitage, who uh, of course follows me on Twitter. Um, and by the way, this is what I mean. Scott, bro, watch the videos before submitting. Like, what are you doing, bro? I can't accept this. I can't accept this on the video. I'm sorry. Anyway, Alex has submitted his team. Now, on the left, this is how he starts. He starts in a 4-2-3-1, and then in-game, he plays a 4-1-2-1-2 narrow. He's actually the, probably the first person I've ever seen start with a 4-2-3-1 and play something else in-game. Very, very strange. Uh, however, he says, whole bench is untradeable in the team. The two icons are untradeable. Bernardo Silva is untradeable, and Da Costa is also untradeable. I have roughly 40,000 coins. Second picture is how I play in-game. So, in terms of the tradables, uh, Laporte, Upamecano, Lloris are tradable, as well as Kante, Fabinho. Um, and of course, the SBC cards are not uh, tradable. They're untradable, of course, because you can't get them tradable. Um, but it's an actually, actually a really nice team. Like I like the layout of the team. I think you've got the right elements in the right spots. Of course, a couple changes I would make. Otherwise, I wouldn't have featured the squad. So uh, let's go and make those changes. So the changes I make, honestly, in this team don't affect how it starts at all. The first thing I would do straight away, uh, as this Fabinho is tradable, you can sell this Fabinho. I actually want to check Footbin to see how much this Fabinho currently sells for. Because uh, I don't know how much the, the, the cost of that card is. It's probably dropped quite a lot. It's 132,000 coins. I would sell him and get the 130k. Therefore, you have 170,000 coins. And work towards getting this Fabinho in foot swap. This card looks like... Possibly the best CDM I have ever seen. This card looks incredible. Bar Hullet, probably the best CDM in the entire game. Six foot two, unreal stat. I would personally go with Fabinho. Then, obviously, you play a 4 1 2 1 2 narrow in game. Um, the changes I would make, first of all, to how you play in game straight away is no, 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 you have to swap those two around. You cannot play Kante as a CDM. He's just too short. He doesn't have the jumping. He doesn't have the, the physicality about him as a CDM. He has to play as that right center mid spot. Play Fabinho as your CDM. He's taller. He's stronger. He can win headers. He can win the ball a lot easier. Uh, he is definitely a better CDM than Kante. Uh, that is the first thing I would do. The next thing I would do probably... I mean, Upper Mencano, don't get me wrong, is decent, but... I think you could probably do better. Sadly, upon checking, there isn't really anyone that else that fits with the sort of French 
theme that you've got going with also the Bundesliga, uh, which sucks in my opinion. It's not great, unfortunately, but sometimes that's just how teams go. So the next change I would probably make is go ahead and get yourself that David Alaba. Now I'm going to go back to how you start uh, your team, first of all, to, to show you guys why I would make the changes I would make. So you start your team rather like this. Now, here is what I would personally do. I would go and do that footies Alaba if you can. Obviously, you've got about 170, 180,000 coins. Um, how much is the actual SBC currently looking like on Footbin? The current SBC um, is about 177,000 coins. So go do that Alaba. Get rid of Kante. Play your Cliver as your middle uh, sort of cam or, uh, yeah, cam, central attack and mid. And then go and get yourself Alaba, David Alaba. Uh, he'll be your right centre mid in game. Uh, obviously, he gets the Bundesliga links here and everyone starts on full chemistry. And then in game, your team is going to look like this with uh, this Alaba as your right centre mid. Um, obviously, you're going to play your team like this. You're going to have Alaba right centre mid, Fabinho CDM, uh, Seydorf is your left centre mid, Cam Bernardo Silva, and it's going to look a lot nicer in my opinion. I think this guy is way better better than Kante. He's got an incredible looking card and he's going to serve you a lot better. That is personally the changes I'd make to your team. Uh, given that you do have a bench of some decent untradables as well, high rated players, you should be able to do Alaba even cheaper than you already can do him for. And I think obviously it's going to take a little bit of time to get yourself to Fabinho. So uh, you might have to grind towards getting Alaba if you can't sell Fabinho straight away. And if you can, uh, if, sorry, if you can't get Alaba, obviously Alaba's got limited time. I'll personally sell Fabinho and get probably a less version of Fabinho that you can afford after doing David Alaba, uh, obviously the limited time on the SBC, I would personally go and do the SBC first and then work on getting Fabinho later. So there are the changes I've made to your team. Aside from that, it's a nice team. And I wonder how these two play up top together. Now, I'd say they're actually pretty similar cards uh, in terms of how they sort of are. You know, they're pretty tall. Um, I'd say 5'11 is tall for a, for a player, especially a striker. Uh, they've got decent jumping and aggression stats. They've got decent uh, four-star skills. Uh, obviously, five-star weak foot for Charlatan uh, and four-star weak foot for, uh, for Cliver. But I think they're probably play pretty similarly in game um, and obviously I know Bernardo Silva is a really nice cam in this game so nice team let's move on to the next one third squad of the episode comes from Jude McIntosh on Twitter who of course follows me he said full and traded above about 200,000 coins currently and you need to get rid of Edison now this is what he plays in game and this is how he starts now I think you've kind of gone a little bit wrong with this team here and there i'd say uh there's a few mistakes i think have been made in this team however we're gonna go and visit it real quick and have a look at it so let's go and do it okay so this is how he starts now in game he actually plays uh like this so he plays socrates out left cam um in the middle i'd say he, or in the middle i wouldn't say i know for a fact he's got alwa and then his yeah two cdms can't even speak today are van der beek and uh frankie de Jong. now i think you've gone wrong here by playing these two as your cdms i don't think Think these two are strong enough CDMs. I'd say Frankie de Jong is more of a centre midfielder as opposed to a CDM, and I'd say uh, Van der Beek is more of an attacking centre mid as opposed to a CDM as well. I just don't think either of them are well suited to CDM. I personally swap those around, and I think you've already got a much stronger CDM backline. Um, I would say then maybe work on on bringing in someone. Like it's difficult to say because obviously you, you know where you want your team to go in terms of getting rid of Edison. Obviously you can sell Edison off and probably pick up maybe like a man of the match Kepper if you really hate Edison that much. Any wants an improvement and and i'd say uh getting rid of edison probably frees you up exactly what like sixty thousand coins i think edison is uh let me just double check real quick on edison's price so edison currently goes for on the market eighty thousand coins and then man of the match kepper currently sells for uh how much is kepper he's fifteen thousand coins now um that what is the difference about seventy thousand coins that's if your edison is tradable i think he's untradable so you've got to spend fifteen thousand coins which gives you 220 200 minus 20 about 185,000 coins left to spend so you then got rid of edison and you've got kepper in your team straight away now like i said it's difficult because you don't really have the the coins to make the changes i'd say you need to make i think you need to rework your entire back line to make the changes i would personally make but i think the first thing you can do probably is uh is get rid of uh van der beek straight away maybe put frankie Dio like i know they're getting each other chemistry but that's the difficult part uh, and that is probably the, the the stumbling block i'd say that you're in right now is the fact that uh you need van der beek to get frankie de Jong the chemistry i've been saying a thing about this team for 10 minutes and honestly for the, the amount of coins you've got the only change i would make in this entire team is get rid of this latin ibrahimovic for team of the seasons latin ibrahimovic is about 130 140 thousand coins roughly maybe 150k i think he is i'm not entirely sure how much it is actually He's about 150, I think, was the last time I checked. He's about 150, although 
you know, checking the market isn't going to show me the cheapest one. Let me check Footbin real quick and make sure that I'm 100% correct on that. Footbin says that last time it was about 100, about 180,000 coins. So I would probably get rid of uh, the flashback one and get the team of the season, uh, Ebra. And then I'd probably just continue playing the way you are. Like you've got some decent players on the bench. So if you need CDMs, uh, obviously you've got, for example, 90 Van Dijk on the bench. So mid game, if you really need to, uh, I would swap these two around. I would then probably put David Luiz as your CDM and go and bring on your Virgil Van Dijk mid game. This is obviously you can't start this, but I'd say mid game, uh, you can make a change like this and probably uh, bring on your 90 Van Dijk here and uh, and have a bit of a better uh, back line and CDM line as well. Obviously you've got the stronger uh, CDM there in david louise but that's pretty much all all the changes i'd make for you uh then possibly just working towards getting fabinho in foot swap uh and working fabinho in obviously you know your team the best so i'd say get rid of whoever's weakest for you out of frankie de Jong or van der beek i don't know which one is weakest for you uh but whichever one is weakest for you needs to go i think um because the other one is obviously going to play as your uh, as your cdm which i don't like but it's probably the best for you. Uh, if you're playing them there already, it's probably working out better for you than playing other players there. And then the other player, I'd say, uh, just play, uh, you know, Fabinho over here on this left side uh, for instead of out of uh, Donny van der Beek and uh, Frankie de Jong. Whichever one's weakest, say, for example, van der Beek is weakest, I would then just replace him with Fabinho. He gets a strong link there with David Luiz and he gets a strong link with Socrates and he works in well for your team. That's probably the changes I'd make. Uh, aside from that, I think your team is very strange. I think that uh, it's very attacking and good luck with it, really. <laughs> Trying my best to implement some of the things you guys say in the comments. For example, a lot of you guys said try and look on Footbin for prices and stuff like that when you get given certain uh, amounts for people to, to work towards. And the only difficult thing about that is obviously you guys can't see the Footbin when I'm looking at it. Like I'm, I, I do try and implement these things, but in the end, I think it gets a little bit confusing sometimes. However, Team number four is from Kieran on Twitter, who of course follows me on Twitter. There you go, you just follow me. Uh, I have 230,000 coins. De Gea, Kante, Fabinho are tradable. Would you please give any improvements? Now, this is how he starts, and in game he changes to this, which is obviously the narrow 4 2 3 1. And there is a couple of uh, changes I would make. With 230,000 coins, it's actually a decent coin balance at this part of the game now. Obviously, with a lot of players being incredibly cheap, you can get some decent players with that. So, let's go and see what changes I'd make. Obviously, this is how you start, and in game you play the uh, the narrow four two three one, uh, which is pretty much almost exactly the same, apart from you play it like that. So changes I'd make straight away. Uh, I would get a better version of Zlatan. I think Zlatan. This card I I didn't get along with past team of the se uh, team of the year. Sorry, uh, I didn't get along with the flashback. I just thought that it kind of decayed for me, became a lot worse in in comparison to some of the good players out there. So I get rid of that Zlatan and I put the team of the season Zlatan in there as well. Next thing I do straight away, you already know, get rid of this Fabinho. Get yourself the free foot swap Fabinho from foot swaps this month. Uh, there's 14 tokens up for grabs. You can get 10 tokens by next, halfway through next week, maybe. Um, so I would personally just get the 10 tokens, get Fabinho, uh, whack him in your team. And for the rest of the team, honestly, there isn't a change I'd make. You don't have enough coins to make the good enough changes, I'd say, to obviously swap Kante for a Vieira. So I think I would probably just keep the, the, team, the team exactly the same. You've got red 97 Salah, you've got red 87 Son, you've got red 93 Savinier, you've got flashback for uh, Firmino, you've got footies Lozano on the bench. You've got enough good bench players to bring on if you need. Uh, so aside from that, I'd probably just keep your team pretty much the same. Now, this card is a beauty of a card. If you're wondering, by the way, I'm on my second account right now, uh, mainly because on my main account, I'm in the works of a different video and a I don't want to spoil it for you guys. So to try and pre prevent any spoilers, I'm on my second account. Just to, you know, make sure I don't accidentally spoil something because I'm I'm stupid. And sometimes I do accidentally spoil things. So uh, that's why I'm on my second account. I do have this card on my main account and it's a beautiful card. Um, I have, in fact, I have Team of the Season Ebra on my main account and it's a beautiful card. That's why I keep recommending him because he's, he's unreal. Moving on to the last team of the video now comes from Hubert Szilaj. Shilange. I hope I said that correctly. I probably didn't though. Uh, this is how he starts with his team. He's got some nice players in there. He's got Jeffrey Condogbia, who I don't see often. That card's like 30,000 coins and an incredible CDM. He's got, you can't see it because my face cam, but he's got a uh, red 97 Messi over here on the right. Uh, and this is how he plays in game. Now you can see the Messi. Uh, he plays a 4 1 2 1 2 narrow, a nice team indeed. And he says, budget of 120 to 150,000 coins. The intradables are Messi, David Luiz, Aurea, Vidal, Perez, and Allison. Uh, so he's got some decent tradable plays in there still. He's got Griezmann tradable. He's got 
uh, tradable over here in Davinson Sanchez. He's got tradable Kante, tradable Kondogbia, even though Kondogbia doesn't sell for a whole lot. There are a couple of changes I would make, and uh, and I want to make those changes real quick. All right, so looking at your team straight away, uh, you've got about 150,000 coins. Uh, the first thing I'd do, and I know I sound like a broken record now, I've said it a million times straight away, he's already literally there, ready. Fabinho in your team straight away now. Obviously, he doesn't start off getting full chemistry, um, and he won't get full chemistry in your squad. You, you can't really change up the whole squad to get him on full chemistry, but I'd personally take him on eight chemistry over Kante on 10 chemistry. Kante's not good enough at this part of FIFA anymore. It's August. He's not good enough. He's simply not good enough. I know there's a lot of people that may think he is. I personally just don't think he's good enough at all this year anymore. Uh, I think that he's way past it. Aside from that, to be honest, with 150,000 coins, there's not a whole lot of change. Now, if I go ahead and uh, put your team into the 4 on 2 on 2 which I can't even find for some reason because it's so far away there we go four on two on two uh let me just make sure i line up all the players correctly as well to make sure that uh i this is accurate as it can be so uh condogbia is your left center mid i'm surprised that kante was actually your your cdm as well i don't know why people think kante cdm is a good idea he's just not but Fabinho would then become your CDM. Uh, I'd then probably look with 150,000 coins uh, who you can get as an attacking centre mid. I think that having three defensive CDMs doesn't really work with a 4 and 2 and 2 narrow. Um, I'd say Kondogby is probably the weakest out of all three of them. And I, he's an incredible centre mid. Uh, but I think at centre mid, he's... Uh, sorry, he's incredible CDM. At centre mid, he's probably not great. So I'd then look maybe to upgrade Kondogby. Obviously, it can be any sort of um, La Liga player. Any sort of La Liga moving forward to centre mid or cam um so if we look at the league of cams i'd probably say in terms of players that you can use there that may be uh maybe decent for your price bracket there isn't actually a whole lot of the league of cams in this game to be honest i've just noticed that i'd probably say this pablo Sarabia card is a decent uh replacement there this card is a decent card i've used this card uh quite a bit actually and i really do like this card he's got a rocket of a left foot uh he's great moving forward so that's probably the changes i'll make to your team i'd say put sarabia on get forward when attacking and cover wing and keep uh uh, Vidal on cover center, get back while attacking, and Fabinho on cover center, get back while attacking. I think you'll have a really nice going forward attack and defensive sort of players because usually when I play the 4 on 2 on 2 narrow, my right center mid and CDM uh, are always on stay back while attacking. They become sort of two CDMs. Uh, it's really nice. And then my left center mid always goes forward and joins the attack to make a four attack prong sort of uh, sort of attack as well. So that's what I do for this team. Aside from that, I think it's a nice team and, uh, and I really like what you've done, obviously getting the, the French connection up top. And I think Griezmann is a decent player to have in this game as well. Uh, his left foot has always been menacing this year. Um, and yeah, I just think that I probably recommend it for being here to everyone this episode. But for free, that card looks unreal. And if you don't go and get it, then obviously if it doesn't fit into your team, then I understand. But if it fits into your team and you're either being lazy or choosing not to get it for, for something else over getting that, then I think that... You know, it's bizarre because I think it's an incredible card. Anyway, thank you all for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here. And if you enjoyed the video, leave a like down below. Submit your teams for the next episode. Feel free to submit it as many times as you want. I usually record this on Saturdays last Sunday. So that's probably the best time to submit your teams. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you later.